YouTube, what's up, man? This is Mutt Head to Head Action, and I'm getting to play DNA Suspect. DNA Suspect, obviously, he's with Top Madden, you guys don't know, and he won the San Francisco Club Series last year. He would have made a run at the tournament, but unfortunately, he had to play Young Kid in the first round. That's always a tough matchup. So, Suspect is a guy I played a lot on these Xbox leaderboards, friend of mine. So, it's always good to, to play this top competition, especially a Mutt early in the year. We don't really know the game that well. Everybody's learning what they're doing. But as you'll find out this game, DNA Suspect is also in the cluster, man. I put that cluster ebook out already on Man Turf. So if you don't have the game or you get the game, you know, this week or this weekend, you can have an ebook already to go to, ready to start winning these crazy mutt head-to-head -head rewards that they have now in Madden 20. And we'll see just how we both use this uh, offense a little bit different as I'm more of a put five people out, you know, really want to hit these check downs and everything. And, and the way he plays, a lot more max protect, a lot more uh, looking downfield, looking for the big play. Uh, but for me, I got sacked a couple times this game, uh, really getting the hang of pass protection and everything out of this formation. And he did a good job of mixing up his coverages and everything. Third and 17, uh, I put the right play, just didn't make the right read. Threw, it, threw right at Anthony Barr, but I saw something. Maybe you want to go for him fourth down. I know he's in cover three. I can get this bomb. Just give me enough time. Julio Jones and Mahomes just puts it on a rope, and the rack animations are so clean this year. When you catch that ball on a run, you will not get caught. There's no shoestring tackles from behind. You're just gone, and that was a beautiful throw by Patrick Mahomes. That's why I went for him fourth. I saw that on the end of third down after I threw a bad pass, and I just knew I could attack that same spot. The next play, he ran the same defense, was able to get it. Early in the game, I'm out here in a little 3-3-5 uh, three, three, uh, normal. Just here, I see rushing three. He is all day running around. Look at Wilson. Throw the ball. It says crossbody inaccurate below the screen, though. You guys see that? Crossbody inaccurate, but he completes it for 37 yards. After that, you know, I said I had enough. I'm going to send them pressure as Darius Slate breaks up this pass right here. I'm going to send six, seven, eight people the rest of the game. I've had enough, and this is when I kind of started incorporating the three, four odds setups, and I'm releasing that ebook soon. So by the time you're watching this, that defensive ebook, this three, four normal, just absolute pressure in your face defense will be out by the time you guys are watching this video. But if you don't have that premium membership on Madden, so if you're missing out, it's going to give you every ebook I release all year, every ebook Clef releases, and every ebook Skimbo releases. It's a great deal for the entire year. So check that out. So I, I got a great stop. I scored seven the first drive. Feeling really good. Got to go down here and, and just really take control of the game. Now, the Mutt player ratings are really low early in the year, and, and that includes the carry rating. So, for me now, I'm pretty much playing on conservative, especially if I get a lead like that. I don't want to give a fumble back uh, and give somebody momentum. I'm playing really well right now. As you see, eight for nine, just taking what's there as I try to go up the seam to Tyreek Hill. Mahomes overthrows that one, but so I don't want to give a fumble. Uh, just playing playing well. I'm going to hit this flat underneath over here to Tyreek Hill so I can take these hits. As you see, he has Jamal Adams out there. I know he has Bradbury, Patrick Peterson. I just don't want to be getting hit. Throw it underneath there to Saquon Barkley. Blissed everybody at me now. So I have another fourth and one. I'm going to go for it. Hit that drag underneath to Julio Jones. I'm just taking what the defense is there. That's pretty much what you got to do in Madden for a while now. As I throw this drag again, and of course, I just talked about it. And you guys know I talked about it for a reason. I was going to fumble. There's Julio Jones coughing it up on conservative. So the next play, I rage blitz, and he runs out with Russell Wilson. I uh, really want to continue. One for five right now. I'm playing great. Von Miller again, getting off that edge, just attacking. I have Von Miller and Khalil Mack at, at outside linebackers. Once again, there is Slay. Fast enough to keep up with Keenan Allen. Swat that pass. One for six. Fourth down. He's punting the ball. So right now I'm disappointed that this is only a seven-point game. I feel like I'm on top. I feel like I'm really playing well. And Patrick Peterson almost gets out of there. But Bradbury makes a play right there with a two-minute warning. Like I said, I feel like I'm playing outstanding football right now. Uh, really disappointed for this to only be a seven-point game. Got to get some type of points here. He's starting to rash it up the pressure and get, a, get to the quarterback. Pretty well right here as I hit the drag underneath to Tyreek Hill. Not in field goal range yet. The kickers and Mutt are not making this field goal. So I'm going to go ahead and go for this fourth and five. Ah, good defense. Drew up the wrong play right there. I put him on a curl. Should have kept him on his corner route. Gets the stop that he needs. Seven nothing. So there we go. I got three possessions and he throws back across his body. Keenan Allen catches the ball in front of me. 
gets the ball inside the 10. I mean, I have three possessions. I only have seven points. Disappointing because I feel like I have four stops already. And t- Ooh, there we go. Roquan Smith taking Tariq Cohen. Tariq Cohen will be heard from before this game is over again. He's really, I don't want to say the best running back, but he's definitely the quickest. Really hard to tackle in the open field. If you're looking for that type of running back, uh, Tariq Cohen is the one. Get him to a fourth and goal. He's going to go for it here on fourth down. I play a little two-man under, and the problem being a three, four, and two-man under is you have Khalil Mack on Keenan Allen. Didn't think about that. He kills him on that little curl route. Wide open. Bad mismatch. Bad uh, bad defensive call, really, to have Khalil Mack on Keenan Allen. And he got seven out of it. Uh, back to throwing the drags. I got to take what's there underneath, man, because he's really sending a lot of pressure at me. As you see there, boom, another sack. I probably got sacked five, six times this game. Uh, that's more than most games. And as you see here, same pass protection. We pick it up fine. Go up top to Beckham. Doesn't come up with a play. I mean, he played out a little risky there. I should have probably went to the seam pass to uh, Tyree Kill. But that's halftime. You know, I felt like I played a great half. And for me to be on in a tie game right now kicking off is really disappointing. You got to take advantage when you have somebody uh, really boxed and you have somebody, you know, playing on their heels. You got to be able to score more points. I fumbled once and it got stopped on fourth down right there. Uh, so definitely disappointing that this is a tie game. I feel like I played a really good first half. Just got to keep up that same way in the second half and things will go well. Really ratcheting up the pressure here. He throws the drag underneath the T.Y. Hilton. Make a tackle on him. That's pretty good. Second and six. We're going to bring even more pressure. I believe we're on seven. He tries to go up top to Tyreek Hill and Denzel Ward. 86 speed. Make the play. I swerved right there just to get a better angle on the ball right there to catch it with my safety. Chucking underneath to Saquon Barkley. That's my running back. Pretty much really solid. Fast, strong. Jukes, everything. So I really like getting him the ball. But like I said, I'm playing on conservative. So you won't see a lot of jukes. You won't see a lot of spins. I don't want to fumble the ball. I already fumbled once. That's enough for me. This play, I want to playmaker back to the middle. Tyreek Hill. I want to stop right there. Go up the middle. Find my blockers. Read my blockers. And take it to the Baja. Great play right there. One of my best plays of the year so far with Tyreek Hill. Definitely a huge play to go ahead and get seven. Not have to worry about the red zone. And just really, I mean, that feels good. Up seven now. Just got to keep playing defense. If I stay at this pace, I should be able to score. Should be able to keep going. He finally he finally puts his tight end out on a route. Dumps it off to him. We make a tackle. And that's okay. That's going to happen when I'm setting this much pressure. You see the next play, boom. He tries to put the tight end out again. This time, Von Miller comes around that edge. Puts him down. Second and 20. Throws over the slant. Patrick Peterson's not having any of that against T.Y. Hilton. Third and 20, we send everybody throws a drag. He falls underneath. Ramsey taps him up. Fourth down. Send everybody again. Actually, I didn't send enough people right there. And he finds the fade. Beautiful touch pass by Russell Wilson to Tyreek Hill. Man, that's a nice play. Just really beat the defense that I had. I sent seven. And I'll tell you this, YouTube, I should have sent eight. Fourth and long, should have sent eight. We sent seven, should have sent eight. Uh, Tyreek Hill beat me over the top there. But I go down and score again. We're just in, we're in a tie game. This is a battle when two good players meet up. This is what's going to happen. As you see, Bradbury really gave me fits. That's already, oh, that's his first sack. But I feel like in the second half, he's going to have another one off that edge. I'm sliding over there. My, my left guard and my left tackle are just too fat and slow to get out to that DB. I thought about almost going for this, but I've been playing good defense. I punted to Tariq Cohen. In the first play, he finally puts Tariq Cohen out. Little late, and this guy has jukebox or whatever it's called, where the jukes are just unreal. Plus, I believe he's like 88 speed, just way too fast. I was, <laughs> just took it to the crib on me. Those jukes with Tariq Cohen are unreal. One play, but that's okay because I have time to go down and score and tie. He could have milked a little bit more, but you know when you're playing high pressure defense, as you guys have watched, I've either sacked him or I've given up a one play touchdowns. You know, but I definitely have gotten enough stops to be winning the game. If I play a little bit of offense, as we hit the crossing route right there to Thomas, Michael Thomas, get it to the 50-yard line, plenty of time on the clock, and there's that guy Bradbury again, really getting some pressure off the edge with him. He's sacking him with Bradbury. I'm sacking him with Von Miller. As I throw underneath to Julio Jones, pick up a smooth 15 yards, gets me to a 38, got to make a play here, and I'm just going to take off with Mahomes, take what's there. I max protected, he only rushed three, so I took off with Mahomes, get to a fourth down, Got to make a read, and I do over here to Julio Jones. Hit the corner route. Two-minute warning. 
let's just go ahead and, and just run the ball, try to keep that clock moving because I want to go to overtime right now. I don't want him to get the ball back. Next play again, I'm just going to hike and haul with Patrick Mahomes. Boom, pick up a nice little bit, nice little chunk of yardage there. First and 10. Flat route to Tyreek Hill. Got to stay in balance, keep that clock running. And I do. Good job staying in balance right there. Second and six. Hit the curl route over here. Michael Thomas inside the 10-yard line. This is when he's going to start using his timeouts to try to get the ball back. First play, he run commit. High ball, Julio. One hand catch. Boom. I didn't expect to run commit right there, but he did. So, 50 seconds, two timeouts. I have to get off the field. Can't give up a big play. But we're not going to change the philosophy. We're not going to stop bringing everybody to the party. Von Miller gets to the quarterback. Brings him down for his third sack of the game. He's on fire now. He's in his zone. Goes for the streak up the middle of the field. Tyreek Hill, Denzel Ward, 86 speed, not having any of that. Knocks it away. We get to a third and 19. Throws it on to Cohen. I'm going to strafe. I'm not getting juked again. But Tyreek Cohen pushes me for 10 yards. Gets the first down. Next play, Khalil Mack. Eats up the quarterback. Tackles him, and that's going to take us to overtime. I actually win the toss in overtime. <clears throat> Elect to receive. Got to go down here and get some points. I feel like... My offense was better in the first half. I got sacked a lot more in the second half. So, uh, you know, I, always good to get the ball. Definitely going out here to try to get some points. As you see, we got crushed right there. But we're on conservative. Hopefully we don't fumble again. Flat route Tyreek picking up a smooth six yards. Six yards on the flat route is real, always good. You'll take that. Drag route over the middle. Julio Jones. Nice couple yards. I would love to be on balance so I could juke or spin or even stiff arm. But, you know, I just... And I said, I'm afraid to fumble, especially in an overtime game. Pick up that first down. Next play, Bradbury gets me again. Jeez, just my, my left tackle or my tackles are just playing too fat to get out there. Sack the next play again. He brought seven people that play. Jeez, third and 26. I get stuck on my camera toggle. Dump it off to Barkley. Pick up a nice chunk. So this makes this fourth down manageable. Now I'm thinking about, do I go for this? 43 yard line the kickers and mutt aren't good. So if I turn the ball over I'm not necessarily donating field goal, but I'm pretty close to it So I'm thinking about a fourth and 12 is hard to get I'm gonna call a timeout and I'm gonna punt my defense has either been a one or I've given up one play touchdowns I feel like I can hold him. I can make a play. Hopefully make him punt that way uh, We can go ahead and, and I can only need a field goal. Hopefully at midfield need a good punt here Needed to get out of bounds. There's no wind no reason why this punt wasn't more out of bounds. But he actually did a great job clicking on Cohen, making a play. I, I just This guy is the fastest player in the game. He's going to just kill me, but Slay makes a play for me. Bang. First play, and we set him up there. I want to show you guys what I did coming out of the huddle here. Now, I knew that's what he's been going to. <clears throat> so I took a chance one play, and I hard-flatted Patrick Peterson over there. And I feel like if he made a good throw or a throw to Tariq Cohen, Patrick Peterson would have made a play on it. But what happens is, for some reason, they make Russell Wilson throw the shittiest pass. And Patrick Peterson has no chance. That was the play I needed. Didn't get it. Next play, he finally just puts a fade. And Hilton finally beats Patrick Peterson. And we're going to lose the game in overtime on that fade route to T.Y. Hilton. Patrick Peterson got beat. Gambled a lot on defense there. Gambled the whole game. Definitely was a good one, man. It was a barn burner. We definitely went up and down the field. Great game. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe. You can watch these games live. Twitch.tv slash dub dot.